चांद पे बात पे जाना जमाने वालों पहले धरती पे तो रहना सीख लो हेलो एवरीवन यू माइट हैव ऑब्जर्व यूजिंग अ सेल फोन फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम रिजल्ट्स इन heating of cell phone and this happens due to heating effects of electric current so today in this video we are going to talk about heating effect of electric current cause of heating effect joule's law of heating we will derive joule's law of heating and we'll find the application of joule's law of heating when electric current flows through a conductor the conductor becomes hot and this effect of current is called heating effect of electric current now let's talk about the cause of heating effect of current as we all know electrons moves inside the conductor and when electrons move they collide with atoms and it gives some part of its energy to the atom and atoms start vibrating with that energy and this vibration results in the heating of conductor so in this case the electrical energy of electrons are converted into heat energy let's see the picture again so as you can see electrons are colliding with all the atoms so atoms start vibration and when they vibrate they heats up the conductor and this is everything written you can pause and copy now we will understand the factors affecting the heat energy produced by a conductor so for that we'll take some examples so this is the first example in this picture you can see i have two similar heater coils and i'm giving high current to one of the heater coil and to another coil i'm giving low current now the question is which would produce more heat if you consider the upper circuit the coil will get more electrical energy and it will convert more electrical energy into more heat energy so the answer is the upper one will produce more heat energy so we have got the first factor that is the current is the first factor affecting the heat produced by the conductor this is the second example so in which i have taken two coils one made out of nichrome which is having very high resistance and another i have taken the copper which is having low resistance so if you want to know which will produce more heat energy in this circuit so we have to understand from the example of heater in heater coil the connecting wires are made out of copper and the part which glows is made out of nichrome nichrome has high resistance so when we switch on the heater only the part which is made out of nichrome having high resistance will glow the copper part will not glow because it will not produce much energy and it has less resistance that's why it cannot produce more heat so from this example we understand the conductor with more resistance produces more heat so in this case the nichrome will produce more heat and the second factor is resistance of a conductor so heat depends on resistance as well now let's take the third example in this example i have taken two similar kind of heater and the first heater i am switching it for 5 minutes and the second heater for 30 minutes now the question is which will produce more heat so it's obvious that 30 minute heater will produce more heat because it gets more time to produce heat so the third factor from this example is time so if you see all the factors together so factors are current resistance and time more the current more the heat more the resistance more the heat more the time more the heat now the joule's law joule's law gives the idea of amount of current produced now joule's law joule's law gives the idea of amount of heat produced by a conductor so it says that the heat produced by a conductor is directly proportional to the square of the current and the heat produced by a conductor is directly proportional to resistance of the conductor and it is directly proportional to the time for which the current is flowing through the circuit and this law is also similar to the examples that we have taken that we have already seen the 
heat depends on current heat depends on resistance heat depends on time but only thing is heat depends on the square of current so now this is the mathematical form if you combine all of this then you will get this joule's law of heating h is equal to i square rt now out here the value of constant is 1 so that's why we have not written any constant out here now let's derive the joule's law of heating so for that i am taking one circuit in which current i is flowing the potential is v and resistance is r and suppose q is the charge which is flowing through the circuit in time t then i can write v is equal to w by q this is the formula for potential potential is work done by charge so if you flip the equation and you can write w is equal to vq if you multiply this q this side you will get this so now in this formula w is the work done in moving the charge q across the circuit now we also know that i is q by t current is charge by time and if you flip the equation you will get q by t is equal to i and if you take this t up by cross multiplying you will get q is equal to i t now i'll put this value in equation number one so now i'll put i t for this q so if you put i t so you will get v i t now i'll use ohm's law v is equal to i r so instead of this v i'll put i r so in the bracket you can see <coughs> instead of this v i put i r so if you multiply this you so we will get w is equal to i square r t so this work done is work done to take the charge from one side to the another side of the circuit this work done is lost as heat energy so i can write this w is equal to heat energy that is h so i am writing h is equal to w and i am putting the value of w that is i square rt and h is equal to i square rt and this equation is the joule's law of heating that is h is equal to i square rt and now the applications of joule's law or applications of heating effect of current so these are the applications electric heater electric boiler geyser so all the appliances which we use for heating works on the principle of joule's law of heating or heating effect of current so two more examples are there one is incandescent bulb and another example is fuse and one more thing the micro oven is not an example of application of joule's law it works on different principle and the heating effect is not always useful because it cause unnecessary heating of our appliances and even the processor of computer that's why it is connected with fan so that heat produced by the heating effect can be taken care of i suppose in the end the whole of life